Hello, brothers and sisters. Welcome back to another episode of Point Rock Review. And this episode, we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, at Anacostes, I've been seeing a particular beer, which we're going to get to in the second video, because I've decided to split up these two videos, because four beers in one video is kind of too much length of time for people to handle. So I decided this time I'm just going to go two and two and put both videos up at the same time. This way, in case you want to watch one and you don't have time to watch the second one, you don't have to delve into one great big long video. How's that? So, we are going to start with Great Lakes Brewing Company. They have this variety pack that's really that really looks nice. Um, the, the latter half of the next video is the reason why I bought it. But we'll get to that when we get there. So, the first beer we have in this pack is called... Dortmunder Gold Lager. Well, the thing is, if you've seen the thumbnail for this video, you're going to realize that the titles of these beers are named after some pretty interesting things. Some pretty interesting things. Either events, real or maybe not real. This one, I'm not too certain what this is based based on. It just, it has like a, a gold medallion and it says um, 1988 Dortmunder Gold. And a little write-up. These actually have write-ups on them. A classic award-winning balance of sweet malt and dry hop flavors, proudly waving the flag of Cleveland and refreshing beer drinkers everywhere since 1988. I'm not certain what this one's supposed to be on. I, I, I want to say it's a real event. It's 5.8 alcohol by volume. 30 IBUs, if that's your thing. But, oh, are these poppers? Oh, yeah, these are poppers. Holy, okay. This one, when I saw this one, I'm thinking Dortmunder, Dortmunger, or Dortmunder, jeez, I can't talk right. I just got out of work. And the only thing I was thinking was the the thief in the, uh, um, in the novels. Oh, that smells really good. So maybe it is based on something else. Maybe I should do some research before I delve into these. But let's find out what Dortmunder Gold Lager tastes like. My nose is extra itchy today. That actually tastes good. It tastes good. I can tell it's a lager, but it's almost like it's trying to be a pilsner, which is very interesting. That one's fairly decent. Ooh. Doesn't really say anything else about them, just what's written there. Um, for freshest taste, please enjoy by next year. Okay. All right. So there's that one. Oh, I didn't give a rating for that one. That one, I'd go 3.5 on that one. It meets the bar. It exceeds it a little bit. Um, it's not one I could go back to again and again and again. In fact, I don't even know if I'd go back to that one. Nothing wrong with it. It's just not really my, not my cup of tea or bottle of beer in this case. Our next one is Elliot Ness Amber Lager. And I remember Elliot Ness from The Untouchables. Um, was that a movie or a TV show? I know The Untouchables was something at one time, but I'm talking about the real Elliot Ness, um, I watched a lot of documentaries growing up, and Elliot Ness was constantly talked about. Admittedly, it's a bit of a paradox to name our Amber Lager for history's most famous agent of prohibition, but it's a... That's right, he was, wasn't he? 
Son of a bitch. But it's a smooth, malty, and dare we say, arresting paradox. Okay. All right. Ooh. This one's coming to us at 6.1% alcohol by volume. 27 IBUs. Let's see what this one's going to taste like. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's an amber lager. Ooh. That's got some really... Really nice flavors back there. Ooh. It's got a hoppiness about it that's that's really good. Ooh, and 6.1. I'm not entirely surprised. Yeah, that's quite good. There's something I could compare this to, but right now I can't put my finger on what it is. It's like I've had this taste kind of before. Mm. Yeah, that's getting a uh That's getting a 4. Wow. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. Sets so two down and uh that's going to do it for this video. Um my next one should be up right now. So uh, if you want to segue right into that one, I'll see you in the next one in a few minutes. Bye-bye.